Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and today we're going to be looking at yet another uh, old uh, 2000s era Dell laptop. This one is the Dell Inspiron 8100. I bought this um, for $15 at Goodwill about two weeks ago. All it needed was some memory, a uh, hard drive, and unfortunately the hard drive caddy. I had to source that off eBay. Has a uh, 700 or 800 some megahertz uh, Pentium 3. I can't remember the exact clock speed. I apologize. 128 megs of RAM and I currently have a 64 gig SD card running Windows 98 second edition. And we'll take a tour of it. This is a very nice well-featured laptop for a home market laptop of the day. You get a floppy drive, which is removable. You can add a second battery there or a zip drive or whatever. There's the battery right here. The battery that came with it no longer held a charge, of course, but I had this battery left over from an old Latitude C600, and I popped it in, that in, and it actually takes a pretty decent charge. On the right side, we have a, a speaker, which I think is actually blown. We get the uh, Ethernet modem hard drive caddy. I don't think this is the exact uh, right one for it, but it works. <laughs> get two PCMCIE slots, a 1394 Firewire connector, mic in, headphone out, line in. And on the back, we have a little bit of plastic damage, nothing serious. So we got power, PS2 mouse and keyboard, BGA, docking station connector, I do not have a docking station unfortunately, parallel, serial, two USB 1.1 ports, and coming on the other side we have a DVD-ROM slash CDRW drive, S-Video out, another speaker, I don't know if that's the blown one or not. Okay, opening it up, um, we have the keyboard, which has a faulty uh, escape key. I do have the uh, actual escape key somewhere. It fell off, but you have to press it in a very particular spot for it to uh, actuate. So this keyboard will have to be replaced. Thankfully, replacements are easy to get on eBay. The uh, tilde key is also having some... Uh, issues as well but uh what's interesting about this is that this actually came with uh some of these uh dell inspiron 8100s came with uh color accent panels which um would be this little piece right here along with this one technically i guess i could swap these out for a different color if i uh ever find them i've seen them i've seen them in blue yellow green colors like that so it'd be neat if I could find maybe blue. That'd be really nice to have on here. Let's go ahead and power it up. Same splash screen as the 2650. Unfortunately, I keep getting this message when I turn it on. Um, that's because I have a 100 megahertz uh, uh, RAM module in here and it only likes 133. Unfortunately, uh, most of what I have is 100, so I'm going to have to get this sorted out. Anyway, we'll go into BIOS. Well, I thought we would. I guess F1 was to continue. <laughs> Supposedly, I do this. Okay, why did it turn off? That's not good. Okay, we'll just uh, do this. There we go. Still keeps date and time, thanks to the battery I put in there. 
Okay, it's a 866 megahertz Pentium 3 with a NVIDIA GeForce 2 Go with 16 megs of video memory. That's the uh, same video card that came with the Dell Inspiron 2650. ESS Maestro 3, um, same sound card that came with the Latitude C600, which is actually DOS compatible. Um, it does DOS pretty well, except for this laptop. I cannot really get it to work properly. The only game that really works is Skyroad's Christmas Special, of all things, but... Any game with digital sound, it just won't work. And I don't get it because I've used this sound card before in another uh, computer that's similar to this, so I don't know. But that's why we're going we're gonna to be changing OS's on this uh, video, hopefully. Uh, I stand corrected, it's actually a 32 gig uh, SD card in here. And what else do we have here? Nothing too exciting. Got a fully charged battery. And unfortunately, um, I have to hit the uh, escape key. Can we get it? Ah. There we go. Not to go into... Why don't it go back into the BIOS? Here we go. Yeah, I have some DOS drivers loaded on here for what good they do. This laptop originally came with Windows uh, XP. You could also get it with Windows ME or with Windows 2000, but this one has a uh, XP COA on it. Probably a very, very early model uh, XP laptop, considering the fact that it's a Pentium 3. And as you can see, this has a very high resolution screen. Some people call it the Photoshop screen. It's uh, 1400 by 1050, the resolution. There's all our uh, drivers. Very poor doll simulation, unfortunately, and we even get a uh, uh, resource conflict on the chipset, so that's not good. So yeah, um, I think we're going to uh, do away with Windows ME since we can't even really use DOS anyway, and we're going to install something a bit. Uh, controversial, and that's Windows ME. I mean, it. Um, this laptop officially supports it, so why not give it a try? It never actually officially supported 98. So, uh, we'll go ahead and put a boot disk in. Oh, that's right, it's on this side. Thankfully, floppy drive and optical drive both work fine. Hold on a minute. Um, I'll go ahead and stick my Windows ME CD in. I'm sure this would also run Windows 2000 beautifully, but that's not what I want to use this laptop for. I want to use it for some gaming. And it will format our C drive. And make it bootable at the same time. Uh, 
Win Me. That sounds like a reasonable name. Windows. Options. Cabs. Oh, I uh, didn't mean to put that slash there. go ahead and copy the uh, Windows ME setup files over. Um, interesting how it's uh, stored in a uh, folder called Win9X instead of uh, like WinME. You would think it that's where it would be, but technically it's still true. This is built on uh, the Win9X uh, architecture. Maybe not in the best way. <laughs> You know, Windows ME, I've always said it's, uh, it's an operating system that can work horribly on certain computers, but run just fine on other computers, so it's just uh, the luck of the draw. Okay, everything's copied over. Just going to eject the CD. Already got the floppy ejected. Uh, we'll set this aside for now for our next uh, Windows ME installation. Whenever I'm feeling a little sadistic. My uh, Carolina Flyer P Pentium 3 build, I have an SD card that runs uh, Windows ME and it runs great on that computer. Okay, see Windows, Options, Cabs, Setup. We'll skip the scan disk as always. As always, pretty similar to uh, 98 setup. Don't want dot zero zero zero. That would all that will do is just make a big mess of everything. Custom, of course. Web TV for Windows, we do not want that. I've, uh, I remember on our first Windows 98 computer um, that we ever had, it was that uh, HP Pavilion we got in 1999. I installed Web TV thinking it would work, but obviously it didn't <laughs> out of the box. So I thought that was so cool. You'd watch TV on the computer. I will name it Dell 8100, Dell and Spur on. Yeah, I can just tell by typing on this keyboard it needs replaced. Let's get the startup disk. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and let it install. Okay, setup is complete. Final reboot. Have to hit F1 again in a moment. Yep. And this might actually run better, ironically, than uh, 98. Especially since this was officially supported. I can already tell we do not have a video driver. Probably don't have any drivers actually. I do have a Dell Resource CD for this. I just got to figure out where it is. I'll do that off camera in a minute. Let it drum away there. Oh, got a volume icon. We didn't get a startup sound though. Let's see. Yeah, Texas and ESS Maestro. But we're not getting any sound though. Huh. Bizarre. But let me see if I can find that CD. Okay, found it on the first try. It's not labeled, so. 
gotta install this first. And it should start automatically. Correctly detects it as a Inspiron 8100 running Windows ME. I guess we'll do this in order. Access Direct. This will uh, control these uh, buttons up here. Start later. I'll well, we'll worry about that later. We'll do the Maestro 3i audio only. Maybe this will make sound work a little bit more reliably. Chipset, gotta have that. I think this is also for the uh, modem as well that will never get used. <laughs> okay, I think we have to manually do that. It's a 3COM adapter. Can't go wrong with 3COM. And even though we don't need it, we'll also install the modem. I think we heard some sound there. Just so we can get rid of that nasty yellow check mark. Oh no, why did I tell it to do that? We're going to be here all day. Okay, let's do this properly this time. There we go. Didn't take as long as I thought it would to search through that whole CD, but wasn't ideal. Uh, don't know why I did that? <laughs> okay, back to the resource CD. Where are we? Dell Solution Center. Okay. We start later. just open a PDF file, or that, actually. <laughs> okay, we've apparently closed out of the resource CD program. It'd be great if I had a Windows ME uh, restore image for this. Okay, 
touchpad. I think this is the right one. Whoa, that's fancy. Even has a little pointing stick right there. I usually use the touchpad though, or in this case a PS2 external mouse. I will install the dock uh, software, even though we don't have the dock. That'd be cool to have though. Remember, I tried to install this on uh, Windows 98 and it did not like it <laughs> one bit. Gotta have Windows ME, apparently. Mm, let's see, Dell OS updates. Probably a good idea. Not sure exactly what that did. Intel speed step. Um, this uh, lowers the clock speed down when you're running off of the battery. And the bay manager. We're swapping out the floppy drive easy. And finally, the uh, video card. Uh, and DirectX 8 is apparently required, no questions asked, to install that driver. So maybe we'll go ahead and install that. We'll probably have to reboot, unfortunately, before installing all the drivers, which I always hate having to do, but that's life. probably upgrade this to DirectX 9C when I uh, get network access, which I, actually I think I already have network access, I just haven't mapped uh, many shared drives yet. I do have my uh, Ethernet cable connected. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um... DirectX should not crash while installing. That's not how I plan my day to go. Let's try it again. And hopefully we'll have better luck. We may just have to uh, bite the bullet and restart the computer if this doesn't work. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm just looking at the hard drive LED. Is it still working? Yes. But unfortunately we do have to restart. Rose. Hmm. OK. 
I'm gonna eject that so it doesn't, this is actually a bootable CD for Dell Diagnostics as well, so I don't wanna, that to boot, when we restart. There we go. We'll just leave it sitting there for now. Okay, you're gonna freeze again, huh? Hey, Windows ME. Quit acting like Windows ME. Run DLL32, what are you doing? Okay, I'll just do it the nasty way. Pop the CD back in. We'll probably get a bunch of prompts for the chipset stuff that we installed earlier. That's normal. And yet, kind of satisfying. Yep, here we go. There's all our chipset goodies uh, loading up. Okay, I don't know why it's wanting to install uh, some kind of modem. sound card loading up there. All that's left now is the video card. The sound does work. Back to the resource CD. It's all the way down here. Again, this is the same video card um, that's on the Dell Inspiron 2650 I have. I think this is the same driver I used to get 98 going on it. Check that CD again. Maybe. Come on. Alright, hopefully we should have full color and full resolution when we uh, get to the desktop. Yep, we sure do, it looks like. picked up the monitor again. Uh, I just want to search for that CD again. Let me eject it. Oh, it's frozen solid. I think it's dead to the world. Is this going to be one of those computers that doesn't like Windows ME? I hope not.
don't need scan disk. All right, let's try this again. Okay, that's better than we were before. Okay, and I think that's everything installed for this system. And I don't know why it's... Uh, Because it saw the modem earlier. <laughs> so we'll just reinstall it, I guess. What are you gonna do? Well, there we go. Uh, looks like everything's accounted for now. I forgot uh, FireWire controllers could be used for network stuff. Alright. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, take it for a spin with a uh, game. This is Hyperbowl Arcade Edition. You may recognize Hyperbowl from the uh, Plus Pack for Windows XP. Well, this is the more complete version of it with more lanes. And it runs on 98 and ME and 2000 other OS's, um, not just XP. Wait for it to load. We'll choose a table uh, that you can't get on the regular. Right, we'll do uh, San Francisco. Not many people got to see this, probably. Just gotta watch out for the trolleys. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I had a important uh, phone call come in that I had to take. So that interrupted the recording. So let's give this take two. <laughs> be so cool to, if you had a trackball mouse to play this with. But I've just never cared for trackballs. Got a spare, so better than nothing. The high seas level, though, I played that on a uh, live stream a couple months ago. That is so impossible. The ship is rocking back and forth. You can't control anything. Almost got a strike. Another spare. Alright, that was our look and uh, OS install of the uh, Dell Inspiron 8100. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to get some good use out of this laptop for some retro gaming. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.
Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and X. You may also support me on Patreon if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.